There are different layers of drug traffickers. There are people who have businesses, legitimate cargo, transport businesses, logistic pe people, you know, and they can't be classified as a drug dealer because their mindset is they're simply moving cargo from one place to the other or moving goods. Whatever commodity goes in them is just another, you know, an, a, another product. And the layers come down to the second layer of people who have got a lifestyle around them, people who've been involved in criminal um, enterprises for 40, 50 years. And what it's not about whether they're selling drugs or not, doing crime or not, it's the people they're associated with. The family unit they put themselves around, their wife and their families and the kids all have to know those same people because you're living in a box. You can't let people in from the outside. And when you put yourself into that box, you can never get out of that unless you change your lifestyle and change your friends in your circle. And sad to say, where you spent so much time wanting to be that person or that guy, that's all you know. You haven't got another skill set but to go around doing crime. So how do you deal with that? I knew how to deal with that. And it was another module to write into it. Then you've got the guy who doesn't think he's a drug addict, but he is. And because he's got a job or maintains himself. But what he does is he wants to sell drugs on the side to take care of his own personal addiction without everyone knowing that he takes gear and sells it, whether it be at the pub or for any other variation, friends around the house or whatever. And this guy's a drug dealer, but because he has a job as a motor car mechanic or a carpenter or whatever there is, you know, it doesn't take away from the fact, you know, this is a business that he does. And called the social dealer, which I felt responsible for because mm. During the late 80s, when we were doing warehouse parties, people started to sell drugs. As, you know, people who've never sold drugs before, they, you know, they'd buy 100 pills or buy 50 pills, you know, sell them to their friends and have eight for themselves. Mm. And, you know, so that whole generation, I felt responsible for half being responsible for creating. And then you've got young kids who I just look at as victims who are involved in gangs, you know, and they're being groomed, they're brought into gangs to think they're gonna get all these things, never gonna get them, never gonna achieve them. All they're gonna do is bring their situation, their circumstances down further and further and further. And all these people in this business, you had to look at each situation differently. And the easiest way of doing it was transferable skills. What has everybody got? Everyone's got a skill of some kind. 